Okay, Mickey part two. We're scrolling along here, <clears throat> looking at other stuff. Hey guys, how you doing? We're doing how's, fantastic. How's, how's the show going? Best show we've right. ever been Where to. Where are you guys out of? I could say Chicago, but with this accent, you know I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina, great. It's great. A great show. Right. Yep, I've had a good show myself. I'm real happy with it. Well, so, mainly jukeboxes, some trade stimulators over here, a um, little peep show over here, a little dice game over here. That's pretty good. That's not bad. $325. Yep. It's a little gambling game. Remember, it's trade stimulators are gambling machines that don't pay out money. They may pay out a gumball or something like that. And you would show the uh, the bar owner that you won, and then they would pay you out, and that's how they got a lot around the gambling laws. So, all right, let's keep keep moving along here. Like I said, people are starting to close down their booths and stuff like that. Hey, I got a question for you. What is this thing? It's a fan. Uh, oh, it's not a, it's not an antique. It's a modern thing. Well, it's probably from the sixties. It's from the sixties. That's yeah. that's weird. Cigar Not weird, fans. it's different. That's what I meant to say. Cigar fans. Cigar fan. Okay. Blows the smoke away from me. Blows the smoke away. See, I just learned something. I didn't know anything about it. Here's a uh, a uh, Seaberg uh, horse race game, gambling game, and you select your horse and put your coins in, and if it comes in, you win a certain amount of coins, and it's on its original stand, as you can see. And it's even got a handle like a slot machine, and your payout would come right there. Here's uh, somebody's booth, and um, I don't know whose this is, but they have the uh, plastics for your jukeboxes, and you can see the animation in there. A1 jukebox, drop-in animation right here. That's cool. I might have to buy that. Okay, and coming over here, we have more antique advertising over here. There's a Wolitzer sign right here, a Wolitzer speaker right here. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Here is Chris from St. Louis Ball Bowlers. Chris is one of the best ball bowler restorers in the country. Hi guys, say hello Chris. Hello, we're just talking all the good stuff about how good you are at restoring and customer service. And, and if anybody wants to buy a ball bowler from Chris, his number's right up here. Let's walk up here, 314-581-2488. Uh, you can email them at ballbowlers at gmail.com or www.stl-bb.com. Chris makes reproduction parts. So you guys that are restoring ball bowlers, you need back glasses, pins, rollover switches, give Chris a call. He's the man. I get parts from him when I do my uh, restorations, and I can't say enough good things about his company. And I highly recommend Chris. Chris takes a lot of effort to get these bowlers here, set them up. You need a whole crew. You got to tear them down. It's a lot of work. So come on out to the show. Show uh, show your patronage and come on out and bowl some games and talk to Chris and buy yourself a ball bowler. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Mickey. You're welcome. And this is a unique book. Booth. It's all about popcorn. This is really, really cool. Love your booth. All about popcorn. Thank you. Where are you guys from? We're from Rockford. 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 And what, what got you into just, you just love popcorn, huh? You know what? This was, it was organic. Um, we just decided that we enjoy popcorn. We like uh -huh. the popcorn box artwork. Wow. And we started collecting some of the popcorn Yeah, so, boxes. so like going through here, you got like every vintage popcorn yes. box that there was. Yeah. You know, it's a bygone era. And this is, it's uh -huh. amazing how much effort they put into it. How much creativity and artwork there wow. is involved with these popcorn See, I would have, I would have never known. Yeah. I would have never known. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to put your card down here. If Thank anybody's you. got a popcorn question. Yes. Uh, we want you to talk contact Joe and Christina uh -huh. and their numbers are right there and they can answer your question about any kind of uh, things about popcorn machines and and, and uh, advertising you bet Where's yeah the and what are we looking for what are we looking at yeah that is cool wow and look at all look at all the signage in here I never even knew this is like uh, this is like so cool I'm getting so excited looking at all this but the only problem is is now I need some popcorn <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. Nice booth, guys. A lot of effort. I'm so impressed. 
I'm Mickey from Rochester. I do videos for the show, my YouTube channel, and my Facebook channel, and all the fans that like to see this stuff. I try and take care of them, and I also like to talk to you guys. Thank you so Find out much. where you're from, what yeah. your passion's yeah. about. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah now, do you guys have like a home theater set up or anything like that? Yes. Or not really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You got. You, and yeah. then, so this is one of the reasons why we decided to, you know, to, I guess, um, expand upon our idea. Uh -huh. We we decided to kind of go into well, let's let's investigate some of these popcorn boxes and see. What I think it's a great idea. If you're and, if you're setting up that home theater, mm -hmm, you would right. want this stuff right here to go right along with your. Yeah. Casablanca and your, you know, movie posters, yeah. and it just kind of complements it really well. You d yeah. you did a good job, Chris yeah. it's Christina, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Christine. But okay, that's okay, Christine, that's I, all right. I go by my mom's things. name is Christine. <laughs> okay, so that's nice. Right. Well, yeah. I think I think it's awesome. You turn yeah. your your passion, your hobby, and yeah. your passion into right. something that you love. Yeah, and then our popcorn machines are 100% made in the U.S. Okay, we have designed and created the the stands, okay. the marquee on the top. There's, yeah. there's, and what do you normally sell them for? Yeah. The, this one um, okay. has multi-colors. Okay. It's twenty three fifty. Okay. And this and you know like if like if you were a Chicago Bears fan, you could get a Bears. Absolutely. But, we do we do yeah. custom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. And this one is twenty two fifty. Okay. Right, because that's a custom color that in deep right. white. Yeah. And then this one is our original. And yeah. It is twenty one fifty. Okay. And even the popcorn machines themselves are made in America. They're made in Iowa, Nevada, okay. Iowa. And so they have a commercial grade six ounce popper. Okay. It has a more complete pop. It's it's just a really excellent machine. Well, so the entire I'm assembly a, is made in the U.S. So I, it's a good. I, it's great. And you, yeah. are you you and your husband do this together? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's is this hiding. Your, yes. You're hiding. Don't be hiding. No, give this hiding. give this lady a kiss. Yeah, there you go. Show. It's a team <laughs> effort. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. The video. We yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. I'll, I've got your card, so I'll okay. text it to yeah. you. Right. They're easy to clean. Yeah. They're easy yeah. to use. People love yeah. them. They really yeah. make a. a I think it's a good. I'm I'm okay. impressed. I've been doing this show okay. since 2006. Yeah. Now there was a guy here. It used to be in the other room. He would make do the old matchbox. Oh, uh, the, yes. the, the the they they look like a book of matches. Yeah. He's, he's and and, and he could make anything today. like bo the bowling alley like. Mm. Like my favorite right. bowling alley in Rochester was Olympic Bowl. Right. He could make it, and I bought one. You know, I put it on my wall. It looks, you know, it's big. It's two feet t right. or a foot and a half tall by, yeah. I don't know what it is. You've seen them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. they're really cool. And I interviewed the guy. He was an art teacher. And, yes, yep, he was yeah. here today. He's visiting <laughs> he, us. Today. It was so interesting talking to him. Yeah. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I enjoyed yeah. your conversation. Yeah. Nice. Thanks Have a, a good show. I'm just yeah. over here at my booth. Okay. I do jukeboxes, but I wanted to introduce myself, Thank and you. I'm doing my video. It so. was good to meet you. Yep. Thanks a lot. Good luck. I hope you guys sell a lot. Thank you. All right, so we're continuing the tour. Now, we may not be able to get through the whole tour of the place today because people are packing up. So what we'll do is the first thing tomorrow morning, we'll go down the other rows that we didn't do so you guys can see what's going on. Okay. I gutted one out years ago. I still got all the glass. This guy here needs to drop the phone. No, I got, I got, I got one. I got one of those ones that plays like 600 games and Donkey Kong's on it. Yeah, yeah. Somebody did. Uh, yeah, that's nice. So, okay, we'll keep moving over here. There is uh, some more jukeboxes and a pre-war pinball machine right here. Okay. What time you got? Is it, is it getting close? I think, no, I don't know. I don't know? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get back to my booth and clean it up. They're gonna kick my butt out of here. Yeah, you can see it's sort of empty in here. And, oh man, we gotta get back to this booth tomorrow because they had all these jukeboxes lit up and they got all the cool stuff, like Wolitzer 71 and the singing towers here. These are reproduction signs over here. So, if you don't wanna spend the big money. But yeah, they, oh, see they got, my, one of my favorite machines, this Art Deco, 1939 Singing Towers. Look, look how beautiful. Just outstanding. Over here, we got more advertising, soda and stuff. There's a cool clock. There's a nice wall box, $350. Everything's negotiable here. You're welcome to make offers on stuff. That. It's a cute little candy machine with that stand. It's very cute. 
We'll take a walk through here. This this looks really cool. Look at this. Wow, fresh hot hot chocolate, and it's got the vintage people here, and you can put uh, how much cream or sugar like that. Make your selections here. Hello, it's Mickey. Look at how beautiful this is. Somebody pinstriped it. Here's a beautiful Mills uh, jukebox right here. This is Art Deco right here. Look at this. This is so beautiful. With this vintage milkshake mixture on the top and the Seabrook wall box. I love that. It's got this pinup girl here. Look at, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. That's when uh, the jukeboxes were didn't light up. They were mainly made of wood, but that's very Art Deco. So very, very nice. Yep. Some chocolate. Uh, we'll keep going here. We got little toys here. Here is a what's called a Seaberg trash can, and these were made in the late 40s, 46, 47, 48, and this is the most mass-produced jukebox of all time. There's three different models, they all look the same, and they made 84,000 of them. And it's got the lower animation here in the door. See how that's spinning with the blue mirrors right here. And then up top, they've got this spinning up here and different colors are coming around. See how that's changing? And it plays 20 songs right here. And these are really beautiful when they're done right meaning the plastics are good the blue mirrors are good the animations there it's got a good cabinet and they're one of the best sounding 78 rpm jukeboxes you can have and uh, you either like them or you don't because they look like a big trash can but they're fun and in the dark they're uh, they're got the killer look there's a couple more over here seaberg c right here let's take a look it's sort of as is you can see the Cabinet's got some wear and stuff. We got $28.95 on that, but it's works and plays. There's an AMI 100. Uh, I think it's a K or a J. Let's see what we got over here. Here's a rock hole. I always like this one. This this looks like, this is from the psychedelic era, 1969. So you would put yeah, your like thank you for attending yeah. this almost yeah. show. As a reminder that everybody has to be exiting the vehicle. Here, here is a, uh, a council slot machine right here made by Keeney. So the time of the warning, the building has to be vacated. Oh boy. By all dealers and customers by 5 o'clock p.m. It's the time of the warning. Again, thank you for your business. Okay, so you hear that? They're going to kick Mickey out of here. So tomorrow. You can see people are putting their blankets on, stuff like that, and people are trying to leave. They don't really want to talk to Mickey. So we're going to wrap this video up, and we'll come back right here tomorrow where the Mr. Peanut is, and we'll do Bill Zapp's booth, who's got one of the best booths here, and he does props for movies, and he's very famous. Uh, done a lot of stuff for a lot of different movies and stuff and restaurants all over the country. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out his stuff. And we want to go over here and check out this booth. And so we're going to do that. So we're going to end it here. Thanks for watching. This was part two of the inside action. And we'll finish up tomorrow. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe. Okay. And that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.